Hi everyone, Greg here. Well, today I am going to be doing a product review on this product right here, corn. Now, corn is a meat-free meat, <laughs> if that is such a thing. Now, this corn is made from mycoprotein. Now, mycoprotein is a single cell protein derived from fungus. No, no, no. No, it's not the same fungus as when you go to your podiatrist and he scrapes your foot off. Well, at least I hope it's not. So today I'm going to cook up this corn, see what it tastes like just on its own. But then I was going to cook it in some pasta sauce and see if you can tell the difference between this and if it was a meat sauce. But first, let's see what's actually in corn. So this is 94% mycoprotein. So 94% of fungus. And if you're thinking this is vegan, think again. It actually contains free range egg whites. Well, what it does have going for it is that it's about 2% fat and it is about 15% protein too, which is pretty high. It's low in sugars and salt as well. So there you go, this corn isn't vegan, it's vegetarian. Now this does have a five star health rating, but in saying that, this is a highly processed material. In fact, meat is way better for you than this stuff is. <laughs> so let's take a look at this corn. Oh. Yes, well, it does kind of look like meat there, doesn't it? And because it is the fungal protein, you don't even really have to cook it. But I do want to cook some up first, just to see what it tastes like on its own before I cook it the way that it says on the back of the pack. So let's throw some into the pan and see what it does. Well, it's not doing much, is it? It's not talking to me. It's not sizzling. It's not screaming at me. It's a bit of a non-event. Maybe it needed some oil. See if that makes it start sizzling. Oh, that's a bit better. So that's what it looks like cooked. Looks like mince a little bit, doesn't it? Like very dry mince. So let's see what it tastes like just on its own. Oh, are you sure you're not from the podiatrist's office and he did scrape you off your patient's feet? Yeah, I mean this stuff is as bland as anything. The texture is meat-like, I must say. It does sort of got that meat sort of texture to it, but maybe this is what dog food tastes like. <laughs> anyway, it is something that you don't want to be eating just cooking it like that it is terrible now on the back of here it's got a way how to cook it in a frying pan and in the microwave so i'm going to follow the instructions on the back of this pack and cook it in a frying pan so first of all it just says to dump it in some sauce and let it simmer for 10 minutes while stirring it which sounds pretty easy to me. And it makes sense too, because it's got absolutely no taste and you want to try and add some flavor to it. So hopefully it does hold flavors and absorb different flavors as well, which would be a good thing. So let me just add a little bit of olive oil in here and I'll add a little bit of butter in here as well. Melt that in. Because what would a vegan pasta sauce be without some butter? <laughs> Next I'll add some onions, fry those for a little. I'll add some garlic as well. Hopefully that'll soak into the spongy texture of this corn fake meat. Next, let's add some pasta sauce. Just got the jar stuff, makes it easier. Better add some red wine, I guess. Why not? Swell that around. And I might even add some olives into this one. Why not? I love olives. Yum, ah, chuck them in now. What harm could it do? Tell you what, this corn needs as much flavor in it as it can get, I'm telling you. I'll just add some pepper in there, why wouldn't you? And now I'll just dump the packet of corn in there. Then it says to stir it. I'll reduce the heat down to a simmer 
And it says to cover and let it simmer for 10 minutes, stirring it occasionally. So I'll come back and give it a stir every now and then. And while that's cooking, I'll whack some pasta on as well. All right, well, let's check out this pasta sauce, see how well it turned out. Well, that looks like it could be real. I mean, the mince in there looks pretty good. The corn hasn't like soaked up all the sauce into it. So it doesn't look dry at all. It just looks like a fairly decent pass of sauce. Let's see how decent it is when we plate it up and give it the old taste test. Wow, that almost looks real. But it's missing something, isn't it? Some cheese, oh, yeah. Gotta add some cheese. What would a pasta sauce be without some cheese? This is just some parmesan. Okay. I mean, it sort of held its texture together there pretty well. The flavors have sort of infused into it, but still, it's just lost that texture of like the real meat. And it sort of is also missing that real meat sort of flavor. It's missing the fat from the meat that has boiled out and sort of gone a little bit crispy and gone right through the meal. It doesn't have the chewiness of like a real meat. It's a little bit mushy. If you were a meat eater, you should be able to tell that it's not meat. It's missing heaps of flavor. Could I convert to be a vegetarian after eating this? <laughs> God bless you, no. After tasting this, I can now see how important real meat is in a dish like this. It makes all the difference. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not something that I'd eat again, that's for sure. Yeah, it's just not doing it for me. What my recommendation would be, if you did want to eat fungus, grab yourself some portobello mushrooms and cut those up and then mix all the stuff through. It would taste heaps better and it'd be a whole lot healthier than eating this corn. So, what's the Grego meter think of this? Let's find out. Uh, 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 wow. Well, I didn't think it was that good. I thought it was pretty average. In fact, I thought it was a bit below pretty average. I think if you just cut up some mushrooms and uh, fried them up, they'd be way better, way healthier, and probably a little bit cheaper. Oh. And I think the Grego meter thinks that too. Yeah. Below average. Ah, well. But that's just my opinion. What's yours? Let me know down below. I hope this video was interesting for you. If you do want to see more videos like this, let me know down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time for my next review. Oh yeah, this is Greg's Kitchen where the reviews are finger licking. Ooh, yeah. You know, since making that video yesterday, uh, I've had a bit of time to think about that corn. And well, that afternoon I went for a very long walk, 10 kilometers. I didn't feel heavy in the stomach after eating that thing. And I walked really well, I had extra energy and I felt good. Then later that night we had the corn on some mashed potatoes. It tasted great. Then today my mum came over. I said, here, try some of this corn fake meat. She said, if I hadn't been told that it was fake, I would never have known. So there you go. I'll adjust my Grego meter from here and I'll move it up to there. That's fair.